one TTM and some PC pickups after this. Welcome back, Inch Chasers, to another Mel Day video. <laughs> I gotta say TTM because I do have one TTM. I've got some uh, some PC pickups and some private signing returns and let's see what else. Um, I don't know, all kinds of goodies. Uh, start off with a um, TTM. I was really happy to get see this. Was not expecting it because it's uh, coming back two of two in. 350 days for the 1991 Fleer set Mr. Frank White there's one and one for Megan both of these were sent off um, to the Kansas City T-Bones last year there's no baseball, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know why he waited till now. Maybe he just decided, hey, he's bored at the house, wants to sign some autographs. Either way, I don't care. I'm happy. There's another one. All right. So non-autograph um, pickup that I got. These are actually two different auctions that go along with the 91 Fleer. This is bottom of the box cards now I will be cutting these out I don't know you may have seen in my video where I was doing the uh, showing off the the, um, the set that I got these cut put in the back um, I've already had Dave Stewart I'm not sure if I had the A's logo but I know I didn't have these two so it was cheaper to buy it like that than it was to buy them separate and this is the only one I've seen of this, and I don't know if this is only because it only came with this, but it was the 91 Fleer bottom of the box for the cello box. So it came with six. Now I know I've got Ryan. I may have Mohan, I don't remember. I know I don't have the Rangers logo, but this is my main thing. I know oh, I didn't, didn't have Andy Hawkins either, but the checklist. I have not ever seen the checklist for the bottom of the box like that so when I saw that I had to have it so I could stick it on my uh, stick it on my in my collection on my in my binder all right now first one this is a private signing and I got this one back Wally Joyner 1987 tops so that one came back and then this the same promoter or agent or whoever whatever you want to call it that does the signings was also doing Pete Rose so I got 87 tops Pete Rose and an 87 tops Pete Rose get the player card and the manager card so both of those are going right into my set and then let's see, this one here is a Facebook pickup. Somebody uh, was signing or selling some for their cards, some of their cards off on Facebook. So we got a 93 tops Matt Whiteside. You may see a trend here. <laughs> um, a what was this 2016 tops pro debut Lewis Brinson? That one is when he was with the then Rangers minor league team, their triple A team, Round Rock Express. Uh, 2008, right? No, 2010 Tops Pro debut, Drew Robinson. Again, 2016 Pro debut, Eric Jenkins. To be honest, I have no clue. Who, where he is or anything I'm assuming he's no longer with the team <laughs> but hey I don't have it now I do next up 2012 tops pro debut Nick Urban Urbanus uh, I don't know there you go Urbanus I guess 
And then 2005 Tops Lance Nix. Yep, all those from a Rangers PC. Woohoo! That was a big gain. Next one here for the 91 Fleer. Picked that up for a dollar. He's a great signer. Recently, has I have not seen any come back from him. I figured it would cost me more than a dollar to send it there and back, so I got that one for a dollar. And then, this one was a pretty big um, lot that I picked up. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of go through these. This is a 2013 Allen Ginter Tops. Jerkson Profar. Signed in a silver Sharpie. This is 2010 Nelson Cruz. Silver Sharpie. Uh, Two thousand fifteen Bowman Chrome. Mitch Moreland. This one I really didn't need, but it was in the lot, so happy to have it. A 2015 Topps Chrome Prince Fielder. I didn't want the Chrome, but it was in the lot, and I don't have a Fielder, so that was an extra reason to get it. What is this? This is a 2012 Heritage Matt Harrison. Got several of his, but not the reason I was going for it. Glad to have it. Now this one is a 2018 Tops. I did not realize that it was a foil, like a refract. I don't know if it's not refractor, but it's not numbered. But Rugnet Odor, you can see it's kind of a rainbowy. I did not see it, notice that in the picture. I was hoping for the regular Tops, but we'll take it none the same, or all the same, or whatever the saying is. 2019 Tops, Rugnet Odor. That is the regular. 2019, Nomar Mazzara. He uh, is a really good signer in person. Do not send to him TTM because he will rubber stamp. Here's another one, 2018 Bowman. Didn't really care too much for this one. It's actually even sound right down there at the bottom. Either way, it was in the lot. <laughs> I, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is a 2007 Fleer Rookie Sensations. And signed on the side there, Ian Kinsler. Kind of hard to see. But these last two cards are the reason that I went for this lot. This one is a 2016 Tops. U Darvish. Signed right at the bottom there. And 2015 Tops. U Darvish. Now, I went to a few games when Darvish was still with the Rangers. He was signing. He signed quite a bit. Every time he skipped over me. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I had so much trouble getting his, but I got two now. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for now. Um, I do have some more stuff that I have purchased. It just hasn't came in. I am in the process right now of sending off some more private signings. Um, so we'll see some more set hits coming soon. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.